kitchen and bathroom fittings are no longer defined by their function alone, because we want to be surrounded by beautiful objects and beautiful spaces. That's why the fittings must be created by real experts, top interior designers. Today we are visiting the Cludi production plant, where we can watch how their bathroom and kitchen fittings are made. Alexander Führlinger will be our tour guide. In our production plant, we produce basin mixes, which are divided into groups based on their size, as well as bidet mixes, bath mixes, shower mixes, and even kitchen mixes. So let's get to work. To start off the production, we need a core made of silica sand. It is made inside this machine, where, under 8 bars of pressure, the sand is injected into the mold and then bonded in temperatures ranging from 240 to 320 degrees Celsius. A special kind of silica sand is used to produce the cores. This sand is characterized by its high resistance to chemical compounds. During the casting process, there are chemical substances and gases which need to be reduced to the minimum. This is why it's important that the sand has a spherical, hard and resistant surface. The sand core is placed inside a casting mold. Liquid brass is poured into the mold and then fills in the void between the sand core and the mold, which produces the desired shape of the fitting. It takes place in this oven. Liquid brass preheated to a temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius is poured into the mold with the sand core inside. When the mold is opened, the fitting is ready. After cooling down, any remaining silica sand is thrown away and any extra material remaining after casting is cut off. At this point, the fittings need to be cured for 24 hours. The next stage is shot peening. The fittings are shot peened to ensure that they are completely free of silica sand residue and that the surface is fine and smooth. Next, the fittings are sent to the CNC machining department. In this mechanical process, the fittings are equipped with all necessary holes and screw threads. Now we need to work on the final look of the fittings. So we come to the next stage, grinding. Everything here is done automatically. The fittings have to be ground with the appropriate grids of sandpaper, so that the surface becomes smoother and smoother. Then the fittings are buffed with a cotton wheel and paste which contains diamond powder. This way the fittings are polished to a high gloss. Quality control is carried out at each stage of production. After grinding, any small imperfections are marked and then manually corrected. The carefully polished fittings are sent for galvanization, where they are covered with decorative chrome. The entire process is computer controlled. The fittings are submerged into baths filled with special chemicals. They are first cleaned and degreased, and then covered with a nickel plating. This thin nickel plating, with a thickness of 8 micrometers, provides a base for the chrome. The nickel hardens the brass surface and provides a good foundation for decorative chrome plating. The chrome makes the fitting smooth and influences their final appearance. Then the fittings are chrome plated to a thickness of 0.25 micrometer. The last stage is final assembly, a pressure test and a flow rate test. When we are sure that the fittings are visually and functionally fine, they are packed and shipped to the clients. Each year in the Cludi production plant, around 1250 tons of brass is processed. In one week, 18,000 bathroom and kitchen fittings are produced. <laughs>